name's Misha from Bookie Books and this is my wonderful cupboard under my stairs. I might rename my cupboard to the Harry Potter cupboard, I think. It's just, I've got so much Harry Potter crap, it's unbelievable. You can't see it, but the posters go all the way up and around. And then on this floor, it's just covered with Harry Potter crap. It's just right down to the floor. I might need to, need to do a bit, a bit of a clear out, just to fit more crap in. Anyhow, I'm rambling a bit. It is time for the... November wrap up. I cannot believe the month of November has gone by so quickly. I just feel like I haven't achieved much. It's just crazy. It really is crazy. So I'm going to share with you the books that I've read and the book that I'm reading and the books that I bought in my lunch hour today. Yeah, I know. More books. I've got no room for more books. Maybe a bit there. I don't know. I just got no, no, no room, but it doesn't stop me buying books. It doesn't stop. So anyhow, the first book I read this month was a book called House Trap. Now this was a um, book sent to me by the author Mike. Now, I don't know how to pronounce your surname, Matha or Mathathor. I, I know, I know, I got that 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 wrong, but I'm sorry. But. <gasps> This book was so bloody good. Oh my goodness me. It's, okay, where where to start? Okay, it starts at, with a young boy, I think he's five or six, he's in his room playing with his trains. Mum comes home from Christmas shopping, has to go at Dad for not getting the stuff that he needs. To, he needs the kiss and the cuddle. You think, oh, this is really nice. She puts the son to bed, they go to bed. 20 minutes later, Mum comes staggering into the room. She wakes up the boy and tells the boy to run. Then she claps on the floor dead the boy checks her sees her mum's dead goes into the bedroom finds his dad dead the boy panics grabs the phone goes to the wardrobe locks himself in dulls the police he hears big footsteps coming into the room and door knocking not knocking kind of rambling something trying trying to get in the police come with the intruder goes who is this man that's killed his whole family <gasps> read the book to find out you fast forward to whatever years on and you're at a girls' school and you meet a girl and she's a bit of a geek with no friends and she's super clever. She throws herself into school. She wants to get into the top university. A relationship with her mum isn't great. A relationship with her brother isn't great. She is told that she needs to, for whatever reason, you need to read a book to find out, to tutor the popular girl in school. She goes to her house. Now, this popular girl in school, her dad is an inventor of like, things to keep the house safe. That's what he invents, and he's super famous for, for it. So she's at the girl's house. She goes upstairs to use the toilet. She has voices downstairs. She just thinks it might be the TV or there's some, somebody at the door. She thinks they might have gone. So she peeps out. She sees a popular girl dead and two boys, a same, same age as her, carrying the dead body out the house. How did she die? Why did she die? Where are the girl's parents? The popular girl has a brother and sister upstairs in bed what happens to them then twist the house shuts down big locks come on all the doors big shutters come on all the door they're trapped inside the house with the murderers this book had everything it was fast paced the storyline was amazing the writing i loved it i will leave links down below if you want to check out this book because it is worth a read it really is worth a read it's one of their books where you think why has everybody read this book? It had me on the edge of my seat. I was, just, I was just like, one more page. But I need to know what happens. One more page. Oh, I need to finish it. It was such a good, good book. I just, oh, you need, you need, need to read it. I'll leave links below. Second book that I read. Oh, this, it was so, I had such a good reading month. I really have. Was Wither. This book, this series, blew my mind. It was one of the series that had me thinking about the book after I read the book and contemplating the book and how to solve the mystery and the riddles in the book and what happened to her. And Oh, okay. It's set in a ut utopia world where they have messed with the human genetics to try and cure the diseases, but they haven't done that. As a result, a whole generation of young adults die. If you're female, you'll die at 20. If you are male, you'll die at 25. So because of this, they want to keep the human race going. So women just have kids. And women and young girls are sold into prostitution or as young brides, just so they, they can keep reproducing. They are kidnapped to do this. So nothing is done at their... Ugh, nothing is done, so they say. So 
he followed a girl called Renee, I think her name was, Renee, and she is kidnapped from her home and she's sold as a young bride. Now this book does have young pregnancy in it, like one of her sister wives is 12 and she does have a baby, baby. but if you can kind of stomach that, it's a flipping good read, such a strong female character. She's sold, as I said, as a young bride into this beautiful mansion and her husband is so nice to her. It's her and three other brides. She's like the middle age, there's one older than her and one that's 12 and her, she's 16. Um, the husband she married is lovely, his dad is evil, oh he's so evil, he does experiments on them, he controls their lives, controls what they eat, controls what they do, he's not a nice man. This book, oh I couldn't put it down, I need to know what happened to her, does she have kids, does she escape, does she find love again, what happens to her? Oh, so as soon as I finished this one, I picked up the second book. Fever, oh my goodness me, does she escape? When she does, what happens to her? Does she make her way home? Does she find her home? Is her home still there? Does she get caught on the way? Does she, it was such a strong female character who knew what she wanted and done it. Oh, this book, this series was so good. It had me thinking about the plot line way after I finished and I was in bed and I was lying there thinking about my day and thinking about the book and such a good book. So as soon as I finished this, I had to order, yes, order the third book, which came today. Yay! So, Serva, hopefully your pick, pick up will be just as good as the last two, because this book was so, so good. I'm going to start this book as soon as I finish the book that I'm reading now, which I'll show you in a minute. Okay, I also read, again on my Kindle, it's been a bit, a bit of a Kindle kind of month, I will show you. Uh, if I can remember how to get it up. Let me have a look. I read a play by Carly Scott. Carly Scott? I think that's her name. Uh, let me find you the page. Go to cover. It's called Lead. And this book, such a lovely, easy read. Now, these books are called beach reads because you don't really need to think about the storyline. You can just read through it and you laugh and you smile when it's finished. And you follow a rock band. And it's a series of five books. And each book is about each of the rock people, each of the singers in the band. So you've got the guitarist, the lead singer, the, the drummer. I can't remember actually because I haven't read them yet. But this one was about the lead singer and how he finds love. And the next book, Kiss, was about the guitarist and how he finds love. Such e e e easy reads. If you're looking for a book that you don't really need to think about, which I needed. Oh, I so needed after this book. This book did it. It was an easy beach read. You follow their lives. You, it is an adult book due to sexual contents in it. But it was an easy, light read. It was good. Um, I'm currently reading The Darkest Mind. I have just started this book. As in, I've just started it, but I can't really tell you much about it. I know you follow a girl called Ruby, and she is sent to a concentration camp because she has magic abilities. Her parents are sent her there. You don't know what's happened to her parents. You don't know what a magical ability... I don't know what a magical ability is yet. But so far, it is a good read. I'm looking forward to finishing this. I bought today in my lunch hour. Now, I have the first three books of the Mortal Instruments series on my Kindle, but I wanted the last three books, because there are six books, in paperback. So I bought the last two of the Mortal, Mortal Instruments series. I'm looking forward to reading these, because I haven't actually read these yet. They're quite thick books. So I bought these in my lunch. I think it was such a steal. These were like £1.50 each. I was like, for three quid, I can't really say, say no. It'll be a sin. So I bought those. I bought A Discovery of Witches by Deborah Harker. Um, it says there, it begins with absence and desire. It begins with blood and fear. It begins with a discovery of witches, a world of witches, demons and vampires, a manuscript which holds the secret of their past and the key to their future. Diana Matthew, the forbidden love at the heart of it all. So I bought this today. I am not actually quite sure when I'm gonna get around reading this book because the writing is tiny and it is massive. So I don't know when I'm gonna get around to reading it. I will do at some point. But I don't know when. And lastly, I bought Before I Die. Now this is about a girl that's got five months to die. She has some kind of disease or something wrong with her. So she makes a bucket list of things she wants to achieve. Um, 
the list the list the list contains dance all night go on a date have a party break the law have sex buy a flat and fame there's obviously more on the list but you don't get that from the front cover i'm gonna have to read the book to find out what 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 it is it just it made me smile the list on the front made me smile and the cover was so pretty look at that i'm i bought it now that is it that is my November wrap up. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sitting with me for 10 minutes. And I love you and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye.